Three. Love this question, Jenner. Hi, Doc. When you get time, can you give your thoughts on high sex hormone binding globulin with low free testosterone? I struggle with that constantly. Doc said higher T, but that has caused too much facial hair. I need more free T. Second part of your question. Why on earth would your testosterone, when it's total bound to protein, right, and there's very little free, why would you have side effects of facial hair? Why would you have side effects? Where do they come from? What happened? When, when that testosterone is bound, you can, have like, you can have like a 300, 400 total testosterone. If it's bound to protein, it's going to do nothing. You won't feel it. It won't even cause any side effects because it's stuck there. What causes side effects is when testosterone goes into the cell and it gets bioconverted in the cell into dihydrotestosterone. That's where that happens. So for you to have side effects, there has to be more dihydrotestosterone than you know. We use things that will inhibit 5-alpha reductase. That's the enzyme pathway that converts testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. We want to inhibit that. Salt palmetto works well. There's other ways of doing it, but this is salt palmetto. There's things I could do to manage that. I avoid using um, pharmaceuticals like uh, finasteride or Propecia because so many side effects because it shuts down this, this enzyme pathway too much. You need some conversion. You just need to slow it down. So uh, getting in there again with um, salt palmetto, you know, even pumpkin seeds, believe it or not, that works well too. So that's that's one part of it. Another part of it is it's the fact of life. If you're married, look at your husband. <laughs> it's, as a man, I will tell you this is a truth. As we go through life, men are more obvious than women, but as we all go through life, we become more sensitive to dihydrotestosterone. We grow hair in weird places as we get older. I was like, why am I growing hair all over? It's part of, as you get older, your body becomes more sensitive to dihydrotestosterone. So your dihydro may even be normal, but but because your body is becoming more sensitive to it, even at the low levels, you're going to see these side effects. So if your doctor is giving you a topical testosterone with this and 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 you know your total is high, your free is low, but you are you have a lot of side effects, it's because they're giving you a topical that's causing this. So, so switch to either injectable or... Um, injectable or um, an injectable version, <laughs> one of those three. Honestly, the only one I know that works well when it comes to avoiding dihydro is injectable or pellets, but pellets, it's a three-month com uh, commitment, four-month commitment. Once it's in there, it's going to be stuck there for three to four months. Your doses won't change during that time. So these are things to consider.